the comments on TikTok are so funny. Like you get great ones. And then there's some person who's just like, uh, who is this blonde woman with a, <laughs> she looks cross-eyed. I've never heard of her. She's a whore. And you're like, really? <laughs> Guys, we're going on a live tour. We're hitting a bunch of cities. Make sure you get tickets below. I'm very excited. We're doing meet and greets. We're going to do a little after parties. We're going to drink. We're going to get nude. We're going to have a wild time. Make sure to get your tickets now. They're selling fast. Link below. Why are you wearing your sheesh blockers? Because I'm on I want to, I want to be able to stare at Vinny's ass. Well, I was on DH Gate earlier, and look what I got. <laughs> I, got it for, I got it as a gag gift for Ebony, but I think I'm actually keeping it now. I love it. Welcome everyone to Out and About. It's my Wednesday. We have a wonderful guest, Heather McMahon, who'll be joining the program very shortly. Um, Nana's no longer homeless. Uh, I'm no longer homeless. I have, it's signed, sealed, delivered. Nana is moving on up. Moving on up. Um, Actually moving on down. Well, I'm sorry? I'm moving on down. We're well, moving downtown, but we're moving to a high floor, so that's very exciting. Um, I'll tell you what, the weather is turning. And I know, I can see the twinkle in your eye. When I walked in here, you have a, 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 a pep in your step because of the coldness in the air. It feels fucking good. No, it feels you know like what? summer is finally fucking gone. It's not, though. Did you look at the weather today? No, I felt the weather. It's, it's going to be, this Friday, it's going to be 80 degrees. You got to move. You got to move. That's the only, that's the only, if you're, if you're complaining about one 80 degree day in late October, I mean, you got to go, Joe. I mean, what else are we doing here, honestly? Well, I, I was, I've always wanted to move to Antarctica. I think that would be a great thing for you. I think that would be a beautiful thing for you. But in our, but there is some good news. Your tea guy, your tea results are in. Things are looking. The up. triglyceride results are in. Now, if you remember the last, last time when I went there, now I did not fast, and I had, Zoom. I had um, a deep dish. You had a deep dish right but, before. Okay. And I think I drank a bottle of wine. But um, one of my, one of my, one of my, um, my nurse friends. Okay. One of our nurse friends, a very, very um, big fan of the show. Yep. Who just happens to know Cake Boss? Uh huh. Cake Boss is Vinny, by the way. Are you talking about? Are you talking about <laughs> our friend, our nurse friend, who I've spent time with? She has large tits. She's blonde. She is. No, it. that's not his nurse friend. Who's your friend? Oh no, I'm talking about the one who you're talking about. Our Are there friend. Man? No. Tara. No, 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 no. No, he's oh. just. He's this just is talking from. About this. this is from your friend. This is from Vinny's friend. Oh, this is from a Vinny's fan. friend. This is Vinny's friend. Oh, so Vinny's friend sent in a list of things to eat and She's not to eat when you have high triglycerides. And so we're, we're trying to help Joey is what I'm getting at here. Let's read Let's read, read through some of these and kind of break it okay, down. Okay, so it says triglycerides are a type of, of fat in your blood. Again, that's a trigger word. If you have high triglycerides, this can increase your risk for heart disease. Great. Nutrition, help th nutrition helps slow your triglycerides. We all know this. The doctor told me not to be fat in a drink. Triglycerides are your heart healthy. You need, we need to... And I, first one, eat moderate, not high amounts of carbohydrates. Okay, well, I don't eat a lot of carbs anyway. You never eat carbs. I've never seen you eat a carb in the years that I've known you. Well, not until I'm drunk and like sleeping on the floor. But, but that, every day to day, I don't eat carbs. But you're soaping it down, which is a step Stay in the right direction. Stay a healthy weight. Okay, I'm trying, but I can't get my, my, uh, my Ozempic anywhere because these fucking greedy Lids. diabetics are taking all my shit. Um, get regular physical activity. Okay, now we have to find a more realistic <laughs> We approach. just go, okay, and we, move, and we move on. Now that's a trigger. Re Choose fats wisely. Includes unsaturated fats, especially omega-3 and fat acids like like, um, like salmon in your diet. I brought salmon for lunch today. These types of fats lower triglycerides and help you keep healthier. Eat very little saturated fat. Saturated fats are found in foods with fat from animals as well as We're coconut, fully a medical palm. Podcast. No, I don't want palm. palm Can I just say this? Here's all you have to do. Eat you're, like a trans person. You're in. The, oh, eat very little trans. You're. <laughs> you eat a trans person, Joey. You're in the right direction. Just fucking get your ass for a walk every day and don't eat fucking late at night, and you'll be fine. That's okay. It. Let's also, out. limit the cholesterol you eat. Eat plenty of vegetables, whole grains, high fiber. I do that anyway. N eat nine fat dairy. I do that. I, I'm obsessed with um, lactose free, zero um, fat college oh cheese. God. Um, limit the cholesterol. You eat plenty of vegetables. Enjoy non-fat, low-fat makeup. Choose lean meats. I do that. Oh, so limit, the amount of alcohol, limit the amount of alcohol you drink. That's, okay, that's fine because I'm a weed queen. When is the last time you had a sip of alcohol? Be honest. <laughs> um, I had. I went out with my friends on. Oh, I saw you were Saturday. So I, <laughs> I did, saw Nana was on. I did. Have, I was hanging at my friend Jesse Bon Jovi. Okay. Um, and his company is called Hampton Wine. It's Hampton Hampton Water. And so I had, I had a glass of Hampton water at his event to be proper, to be happy, but I also took mushrooms and edibles. Can I ask you a question about that? And we can bleep it if we have to. Yeah. How much did you do? I didn't do any. I would, there's no reason to do because I only drink I'm drunk. Yeah, I, when that's I'm a huge weed, deal. I don't even want it. Well, I went out on Saturday night and had quite the night with, on Friday night with Gaz. You want, if well, you wait. want to stay away okay. from drinking, Why Zoe? do you, 
Why do you constantly do We already know what happens when we hang out with Gaz. Gaz is not a good person. Shut the fuck. What do you mean? We not, you, know, you know if we go out with him, there's going to be hose on hose on hose. Yes. There's going to be drinks galore because daddy puts that credit card down and doesn't monitor. Joby, it was tequila shots. I go, I go, I want to tell you something very clearly. If I take another tequila shot, I am throwing up. Gaz, at the, Gaz, Gaz same thing Gaz does this, Big Cat does this, all the heavy hitters. Us. I saw us. When they go, when you go to a bar with an, with a, a upper the upper echelon of Arsenal Sports, all expenses are taken care of. K uh, K John Shuttleberg does it. They put the credit card down. They don't ask any questions. They're paying it forward. They're paying it back. And it's just you know, it's a recipe for disaster because you know you don't want to be rude. They put their credit card down. So you want to you know rape it for all it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. If someone offers me a drink at the bar, I I'm not saying no, ever. I can't. If someone offers you a shot, I can't say. What if no. a guy says like this, and he stirs it? Then I'm taking, says, it, I'm taking it twice. I I'm got put, a car out back. You want to get out of here? <laughs> I'm putting my blindfold on and I'm shooting her down. I'm shooting her down the trap door or I'll butt chug it. But yeah, it was a lot of fun this weekend. He wanted me to go out the next day. It kicked my ass. I couldn't do it. I relaxed. I did some online shopping because that's the time of the year it is. What did you get? Um, just some things for the apartment. Now, I had to take my hat off because there's a law that we can't wear the same costume. We're both wearing earth and ivy hats. It's my favorite hat ever. So I decided way. to wear this hat. Do I look like Ice Spice? You look like Annie. <laughs> Yeah, more Annie than Ice Spice for sure. <laughs> you look a little more like Annie. Do I look like the late, the late Lucille Ball? You do, Mama. Um. So yeah, so I mean, listen. The thing is, Joey and I are maturing. I think that's what we're getting to here. The the not boozing, me the skin, Mama. The boozing is winding down. The drugging is over, and you know we're on to better things. It's the fall. We want to be cozy. We want to relax. We want to do what we do. Joey has a health call. He's going to take it on speaker on the thing. Take it away. Hello. Hi, I'm looking for Joey. This is me. This is she. How are you? This is Gabby. I'm Dr. Sam Helen, Nikki's nurse. I believe we've been messaging about the Cosentix. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry for all of that. That's okay. So, I look like a dinosaur. I'm scaling everywhere. <laughs> no, you're fine. I actually, we might have a quicker um, solution. Okay. And we have and a lot it's of a... in office that we'd be able to set you up with. You know, I believe it's the first four weeks that you're doing the loading dose. Yep. You know, and then it goes to every four. So if you wanted, um, she'll take a loading I dose. I am okay. here basically eight to four Monday through Friday. Okay, if good. If you wanted to come by and get samples, I can just set them aside with your name on it. Oh, good. Yeah, this is just so you so give me the starter dose, and then I can just start up with the four after that every with the 28 day one. We're sampling pharmaceuticals. Exactly. I love it. I know I'd find a loophole. All right, excellent. We'll see you soon. I appreciate we'll it. Thank you. Bye. Well, well, well. Things are looking up <laughs> on the <laughs> Out and About podcast, baby. My psoriasis has been, you know, I've been stressed out. I'm starting a company. It's, I just started a company called Just Media, and my skin <laughs> has not been the same. I'm scaling. I'm repelling. My, my body's repelling. That's the hospice. No, of yeah. Media so thank companies. God. I mean, if my one injectable is good now. Um, but listen, things are looking up for us. I, I feel I feel very hopeful for I the fall. I have a bone to pick, not a bone to pick. A boner to pick. Okay, what would you say? Do you remember? He him. Something happened on the girls. Listen to me. They, You're about to listen to a podcast with our our dear friend Heather McMahon, where yes. she then made a promise to me that she still has not yet fulfilled. Oh, do you want to say it? I'm well, going to say no, it. Hold on. No, it's not let yet no. fulfilled. This happened a week ago. Even if she ordered it, it wouldn't be. She enough. doesn't know what she's. I don't think she she wanted me to send her the, the, the link, and I'm not doing that. Yeah, but don't so call the, her out. You don't actually make her buy you. Th this shit. is what. I'm, th no, this is my cry for help. This is me reminding her without <laughs> oh reminding God. her. That my espresso machine is still not for purchase, still not purchased on my registry. Now, Heather McMahon, I was telling you about my, my registry, still available on my link tree, Crate and Barrel for my housewarming. And she promised she'd get me my espresso machine. She goes, remind me. But I'm not going to remind someone, like, oh, you remember when you said you'd buy me this? That's tacky. She's a. But if you. If you well, if that's you, what we're doing right now. No, no, we're doing really what we're doing right now. I'm passively aggressive, <laughs> re passive aggressively <laughs> reminding her that she made a promise that she still has not fulfilled. Because. You, refilled. Because you're not telling her specifically. Directly, it does not <laughs> because count. Because you're telling the world, no, but if her. you want to, if you want to, like, um, at Heather McMahon and remind her that my my special <laughs> machine still has not didn't been purchased come from us. off um, my registry, that you just you know an anonymous tip saying I'd like to remain anonymous, but word has it you did not buy that um, coffee machine. I'm sorry, espresso machine. Off of Joey's registry. Do you even drink espresso? I will if I have a machine. <laughs> there we go. It's more just for decoration, just to be like it's like an adult thing. What's an adult thing in your, in your next apartment that you're gonna that you would want to have to make everyone know that you made it? A, a, a rug that doesn't fit on the wonky wall. A, a rug that a rug <laughs> that curves up on my wonky cutout wall. <laughs> A, a a storage king bed that oh, that drawers don't open because there's not enough room with a tufted I headboard. Think, I think I think just okay. What is your issue with tufted 
headboards. Ladies. Everyone said tufted is fine, and I showed you a tufted headboard, and you looked at me like I was kidding. Okay, who are you gonna trust? Crime. Who are you gonna trust? Is some, someone who has museum level taste and exquisity. Find within, me an alternative. Interiors. Find me an alternative. I'll find you an alternative. What's your budget? What is the issue with there is no budget? Okay, ladies, what, when you see a tufted headboard, what do you automatically <laughs> think? I think you think grandma? I think low end website. I think I think. Um, Airbnb. That low end website. How is this low end? Fifteen hundred dollars. It doesn't matter. It's tufted. Look no. at it. That is so. No, you cannot have a tufted okay. headboard. Can you look up non tufted headboards then? Because I or need just do a headboard. And just a headboard. One. You need a you need a bed though. A bed frame. Yeah, I need a, a bed frame. A headboard. I need it all. First one that comes up. Is it's this. all tufted. That you think that's cheap looking? Yes. Okay. So look, give me some. Let's do some keyword searches here, Joe. Let's work. Let's workshop this really quick because now I'm freaking out over the headboard. Uh, do do a channel a, a channeled headboard like that one. What's a channeled? The channel is going down. That one. You think that that's like a that's like yeah, a fucking like best western? Uh, no, that's not. That's not a best western. That is a chic hotel. Channeled headboard. I would do a channeled one. Then he's gonna put that in. Channeled headboard. So you think anything tufted is trash? Yes. No. I mean, I'm, no. 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 Not everything tufted. <laughs> I mean, a, a beautifully um, mahogany leather bound. Chair and a, and a study that's tufted. Well, yes. I have a study as well. A leather, you know, a leather sofa that's like horizontal is no horizontal is fat. You want vertical. That is perfect. I mean, if you if you want something that's like affordable, that's that's cute. That look is much better. You think that cheap. is much better? Absolutely. I like when it comes out a tiny bit on the beds and near the so head. How, you're gonna drop things in there. You'll never okay. find it. And yeah, that has a baseboard too. Now, how much fucking are you gonna do on this thing? Well, son, I'll tell you what. Because you might need, you know, I gotta, you need, I gotta knock the dust off this old battle axe. You might, okay? need, you might need a box spring. I know that's the only thing. I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna be doing zero fucking. All right, so there we go. Can you d DM me that, Vinny, so I remind <laughs> what to do? I'm worried. It's like I'm fucking worried about what Nana's gonna. Think I'm not of. hating. Wait, on you. I have something for you. I mean, did you have someone in your life that could take take care take care of these things for you? Click on the click on the green. This? No, the other one. I thought about having like a dark velvet green, like almost rock and roll style black marble tables, like that shit. Is that too much? No, I like it. I mean, it's. I mean, think, it's a lot though. The thing is, your place is petite. Okay. And the thing with that is, you you want to have um, flare pieces and punch pieces like this, but you have to choose them extremely wisely. Keep everything else neutral. If that's if that's gonna be your bed and that's gonna be the kitchen table you showed me, that has to be like the 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 the, the, the like the the, the anchor pieces that anchor everything else into the house. See, so I think I should do more neutral on big stuff and then smaller stuff more. But you, last time you, you didn't have anything small. You had a TV on a chair and, <laughs> and Yankee candles from 1996 that were all like burnt down to a crisp. Well, I'm in a new tax bracket now. Remember you You're broke? So remember you broke my fucking uh, my couch? Trying to turn the air conditioner that was locked so was <laughs> on the ceiling. Your air he did this. He goes conk, conk, The whole thing goes off. Your house it was a futon, first of all. It was a queen size sleeper sofa. It was a folded taco futon. It was a folded taco. So I, I love that green. I love that green color, and that's you know that my bedding is that color the, um, of that that topaz. Can you send me that as well, Vinny? I'm in a design. I don't know what to do with my life. Maybe I get. Do you see? How about Kelly Keegs' bed? Did you see that? Is it nice? You saw that? Oh yeah, no. the, the, the curtains she on it. She had the uh, mosquito nets on it. Well, she has to. She, has, she got malaria twice last year. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the video of Kelly Keegs? Well, the flies will kind of swarm down there. Did you see the video of Kelly Keegs I found? No. I'll send it. I'd love that. <laughs> Actually, send me those, Vin, if you don't mind. Do you want me to send it to you, Vinny? Yeah. If you, if you guys also, this technically says it's a channel tufted headboard. Oh, uh, so thank you. Channel tufted headboard. It's not tufted. Is tufted is a. It's, it's, That's it's, a warning sign. HGTV designer. I don't want anyone who's worked on HGTV. Why? Let me see. What do you got? HGTV is like Samantha. Remember Trading Spaces? The show on TLC. Anyone remember that? Trading Spaces. Yeah, I never and then watched they did it, Trading but, no. Spouses, where they'd have like an evangelical alt right mix up with like a liberal hippie. Like, that's dyke, always fun. And oh my God, it was fantastic. <laughs> what are you looking up for me, JoJo? What did I, did I send you that video? Jo Kelly Keegs. She was talking, doing educational work. Kelly Keegs educating on the people on who on what? Okay. <laughs> Joey kind of pulls off that wig. Like you, you could wear Wait, that. The hot tub tour just got back to me. Hold on, let's focus. Let's I'm focused. Focus. I'm showing you the picture of Kelly Keats. Okay, that was a video. It's a video. Listen, everyone. Something tells me this isn't going to be Kelly Keats. Yeah. So. <laughs> oh, this is Kelly. I told you. 
Can you send it to Trish? I mean, to the man? Yeah. She's doing a video. She, you know what I think? She, no, she has a gay brother. Yeah. She's always been an ally for the gays. What's your thing, Vinny? Don? Don. D-O-N. Yeah, this is Kelly Keeks. If you could just go ahead and throw that up. I yeah. you, you, had, you put it on his Instagram, though. I DM'd your Instagram, yeah, then. So this is a video you found of Kelly. Yeah, well, she's just she's always great on TikTok every morning. Yeah. Okay. I think she's talking about... Oh. I have no idea that boobs and and that is um, Big T. <laughs> <laughs> you learn something new every day. Is that Big T or is that Ev? That's... You know who that is? A JT, a, uh, not a TJ. That is, that's, that, that's, TJ. that's, that's Dukes. This is Dukes. This is Dukes. So play it again. So Kelly Keeks was in the beginning and this is Dukes? Yeah, because Dukes is friendly, lovable, soft. Wow. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Put Kelly back on. Does that not look like Kelly Keeks? <laughs> <laughs> like a punch in the gut. You can pause it, Finn. No, that's a great find. That's a really, I, I thoroughly enjoy that find. And oh, I, my trick listeners, I never told you. Yeah, they're, they're fucking high as fuck. You had a day No, I fixed it. How? Guess, okay, they, my, so my trick rides, I'm doing all that. Diet, exercise, and a positive attitude? Well, I did it for the week straight. I didn't drink, I didn't have any, any carbs, any cheese, any meat. I had meats and I had lean meat. If it isn't the consequence of your action, look at that, you took care of yourself and now you're in fucking great health. Do you no, feel different? No, guess what it is. Get, well, from 580 to, guess what it is now? 220. 144. What? In a week? You definitely did something that fucked up your test in the beginning. Well, I also, it had to be I, Okay, I wasn't on my medication, but then, so then this, this, this whole week, I was doubling up on my meds every week. My, <laughs> like, this isn't birth it control. Count you can't just take you two if you that. forget one. It was phytofibrate. I was taking two phytofibrate every day, and that's how I got to the low blood work. All right. Um, speaking of low blood work, uh, <laughs> our good friend Heather McMahon is on the program today. She is an absolute fucking dream. Is she? <laughs> I'm only kidding. She's my best friend. She's awesome. She's my soulmate. She's my sister. She is. She do special out on Netflix. She has the a Netflix sun I never special. Had. Sun I never had. It's fucking hysterical. And she's going on tour. I'm um, filming her next special. Um, if you don't know who Heather McMahon is, um, she's you're mother. welcome. She's a she's a gift a gift from God. She's my my um, my soul sister, and she's the purchaser of a new Breville espresso <laughs> machine from my Crate and Barrel registry now available on my link tree. And now back to our interview with Heather McMahon. Heather McMahon. Heather McMahon. Here comes Heather. Here comes the hurricane, bitch. Rah! With the busy fall season already in swing, you might be looking for wholesome, convenient meals for jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up fast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle, Joe. Too busy to cook this fall and want to make sure you're still eating well? With Factor, skip the extra chips to the grocery store, the chopping, the prepping, the cleaning up too, while still getting the flavor and nutrition of quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. All you have to do is heat them, enjoy them, and get back to creating your goals. Adjust your stride this autumn without missing a step. Choose from 35 weekly flavor-packed, fresh, never frozen meals that promote a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences. All ready to eat in just two minutes. That's huge for me. Pop some holes in the top of your package, shove it in the microwave, two minutes, you're ready to go. Relish the best autumn flavors are, uh, with our limited time only, hearty, comforting meals featuring seasonal vegetables like cranberry, pecan chicken, Yum. and apple Dijon pork chops. This October, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered right to your door. That's right, so head to factormeals.com slash out50 and use code out50 to get 50% off. That's code out50 at factormeals.com slash out50 to get 50% off. Factor Meals. We're here with um, the lovely Heather McMahon. Hi. Back again. The elusive Heather McMahon. Hi. I hope I look thin from this angle because you do. You look I feel like I'm leaning back. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. My feet hurt. I said you look like you're from Scooby Doo. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if that's a compliment or It a, is. That's it what, is. It's like a 60s look. It's like a 60s dress. What was Ve the girl's Not name? Not Velma. Who's the other Velma one? Velma Louise? Velma. No, that's different. That's Thelma Louise. Oh. You dumbass. <laughs> you Vel Varla. Varla Jean Merman. Varla Jean Merman. Varla Jean sure. Merman. Um, um, I'll take it. That's a compliment. How's your tour going? It's great. You're crushing. Yeah, it's really wild. I'm uh -huh. I'm 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 dead inside and very tired, but it's phenomenal. <laughs> I've I think we've passed the threshold. Like in the beginning where we were friends, it was like, "Oh my god, 
I'm so excited she's doing so well. And I'm to from the point where I'm so excited for you, which I'm actually envious and I fucking hate you because <laughs> she is making no, so much fucking shit money. Before you came in. Yeah. So much money. And it's like, I want that too. But here's the thing. This is what I've noticed. People are so funny. Um, because they're like, oh, you know, you're crushing or whatever. Nobody wants to do the amount of work that I have yeah. to do to to do this, to make yeah. that money. Yeah. yeah. It's really funny because I, my other friends, I'm like, <laughs> like they have opportunities to make that money and they're like, It's all there. It's, you just have to take we want they're like it's yes. uh, we're too tired. Or I would I don't want to. And I'm like, Is okay. that me not in a nutshell? I all it's I, like, yeah. I, I bit so, my tongue. I was like, this is you very to hitting Joey. close to home. You have to work can, to do right? like I, I can know if I like post on Instagram. TikTok every day. I could be the new ex girl, but I like I don't, I can't bring this myself to look at myself every day. Yeah, and talk and fake it all day. Long. Yeah, I can't do it. Also, it's funny too on TikTok because we're we're all a little bit older, right? Yes. So I find it your so first funny. one's like, "Hi everyone, I'm Heather McMahon. I'm a comedian. You get to <laughs> introduce yourself to these fucking three year olds." Just, just, just yeah, like, it was the weirdest thing. I was like. Because you know happening? who's seeing it? It's all like younger fucking people. It's yeah. that and also like on Instagram, people who want to follow you, they follow you, right? right. And it's like, great. If, if I'm not for you, then keep going. Right. But on TikTok, I, I did this like bit you about like- to stay. Th- no, they literally are like, some woman sent me this crazy message. I just find the comments on TikTok are so funny. Like you get great ones. And then there's some person who's just like, uh, who is this blonde woman with a, <laughs> she looks cross-eyed. I've never heard of her. She's a whore. And you're like, leave, you're like, leave the fucking page. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? You I don't have to be just here. Just keep scrolling. Keep yeah. scrolling. It's called binge watching. Just yeah. slide to the next one. I do yeah. feel like they're nicer on TikTok than they are on Instagram. I feel like Instagram, like people can still be ruthless. TikTok, I feel like has I all like these bullying, safeguards though. in where we people like, can't back. shit on you as much. Yeah. I You're like, they you get through. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I find them. What's that? I hate that you can't bully anymore online. They, they flag everywhere. Like I can't even use the pig emoji anymore. <laughs> like oh. it gets flagged. The you pig emoji. Kicked off for the drag queen shit? I called the drag queen a hoe. And I got, uh-huh. got flagged for it. I said, I said, I said, bye ho, because someone got someone uh-huh. got eliminated. It was it was Pan Johnny Heels. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, that's why I can't stand. Of course. Um, so she got eliminated. I said, bye ho. I said, good riddance ho, and I got blocked from TikTok for like a month. Um, I get like, shadow banned for calling myself like a fat guy. I can't even say hey. I'm like, oh, I'm, such, I'm being such a you know cunt today, and then I get flat. I can't say work bitch or hey bitch. I can't even yeah. say work bitch under a Britney post. It Unbelievable. Says, then why even have the words anymore? It's self harm. It's self harm. Yeah. <laughs> Bullying, not bullying, not, 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 not like bullying to like kill yourself. Uh, can I be honest bad, with you? I like got bullied a little, a little bit over, like I used to. We need re- tough love again. Tough love. Bring yes. back tough yes. love. Like it, that's, that's why we, we need, need Joan Rivers. We need fashion yes. police back. I, yeah. there was a Reddit thread or something. One of those that was about my eyelash extensions. I just have on it like a strip today. Cause I've been doing press all day, but literally these <laughs> girls were so mean. And honestly, I read Would through you need to fill in? and I, no, I literally was like, Jeff, they're right. I was like, they're right. <laughs> and I quit doing eyelash extensions. I was like, I looked clownish. I looked like I could take flight. I looked like I <laughs> yeah. was a off duty stripper at one point, which is the look I was going for. Yeah. Slutty. Yes. Oh, you know? well, was, what did Nikki Glazer say? She she was just on, she said, uh, she the was roast. Messy. We apologize. We didn't have it cleaned. Before. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she said, uh, the bullying hurts when it's true. She had someone called her Larry Bird at a roast. <laughs> yeah, Larry she goes, that stuck with me for to this day. Yeah. yeah. I was Blake like, Griffin said it to her and she had yes. a crush on him. So it really hit yeah. home. Yeah. Um, but the chore is going, how's your mom? Great. The Red Contemporary. The Red Contemporary. Robin's yeah. great. Um, my husband's playing golf today, so we fucking hate him. Um, Why does everyone hate? Um, Claudia was saying the other yeah. day, she hates when her husband Ben goes out plays golf. Why? Why? Did, oh, the guy's away. Why would you want your husband out of the house? So I was actually- talk- up your ass anyway. I Get was talking to Claudia about this last night because she was posting that Ben was out. Yeah. And I so my whole new hour is about being a golf widow and just talking about <laughs> it because I played golf growing up. So I try to explain to the girls, At like, the this is what's wrong. But I try and meet in the middle. I'm like, the reason that women get pissed off about guys going to play golf is not because we don't want you to go out and like get in your steps, have heart health, you know, de-stress. It's because it it's takes nine day. fucking hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is not fair to women, especially if you have they're children. they're home all day or dogs. Yeah, like maybe we get 90 minutes to go get a gel now. Like, yeah. it's like, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> I'd love to take nine hours and go off the grid. And that's the other thing too. He's yes. like, I'm sure. No cell phones. Oh, I don't have no service on, all yeah, those on 18. Are, I was pulling up those little, little trucks making cocktails on the side of the thing with the yeah. kids out. Yeah, I would love to be at the nail salon and have some like guy just brush <laughs> Vinny. Dick against my back, Vinny. Vinny, yeah. Vinny I would love giving that. You a, giving you a chair massage. Yeah, Vinny, are you, uh, can I ask? Are you straight or gay? He's straight. I am straight. You're straight. Yeah. Do you want? Can you take your shirt off for her? She did it on the live no, show. No, no, it's okay. I'm not. <laughs> she, she has to come to the live show if she wants. to Oh, see I will absolutely oh, come nice. to the live show. No, will you open for us? Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> Just I get do. people on their okay. seats. Okay. <laughs> congratulations. She's a nurse. She came to the show last night. She's she's a she's a nail tech. Know what she do? She's a doctor. She's a lash tech. She's she's a vet. She came to my house. She came to Scrubs. 
Just like she's hot. I wanted she, to scratch her strip pad. In ER nurse. Oh my yeah. gosh, she's saving lives. She is. Wow, that's fantastic. Oh, the yeah. ER. Yeah, yeah. She was the milking only it. I asked because I am really good at hooking people up. So I just thought you're. He's such a cute. She's cat. a modern she day Yenta. on the internet. Is that what they call yeah. a Yenta? We talked yes. about this last time. Yes, I, it's a Yenta. Uh, what's yes. that? A Jewish matchmaker? Yes, yes. a Yenta. Matchmaker, matchmaker. You're make me a match. Find me a find. Catch me a catch. Ah, the late Robin Williams. Yeah. God rest your soul. Um, so Netflix, how's this? How does it feel? It's this is, you've been over at Netflix for many moons. You and you and that Nita Joburg had a movie. Yeah, we did, but I laughed. The movie was great, yeah. and it was so well received. But they they really pulled a fast one on my fans because I'm in like the full trailer. That your face is on the, the they're, they're catfishing. They're putting your and face I'm on the screen. I'm in the movie for four and a half minutes. Yeah. So everybody was pissed. They were like, "What is this?" That's we the best scene. The tree scene I call it when you're yeah. sitting by the tree on your phone <laughs> playing with your phone. That's I, I watch it over and over. I'm like I had goosebumps. I was showing the animals yeah. in the house. I was like, that's my friend, yeah. Yeah. buddy. Look, that's my friend. It's Heather. <laughs> and then never to be seen again yeah uh-huh. and then you also did another scene where you were, you were I was um, and he's my favorite actor of all time we've been trying to get him on the show for fucking years John Early yeah oh, he is good, so funny um, good, uh, fun mom's dinner you your cameo in that wait what are you talking about were you not in that no. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. <laughs> no, I was not. I've never worked with John Early, but I adore him. You weren't in the one. You didn't. Go, you weren't behind a PTA table, like checking in, and you were. You were oh, oh, that was a movie called Family, but John, John Early's, Early's not, not in, in that. that. No. He's not in it. Oh. It's Taylor Schilling was in that. Oh, Taylor Schilling. Taylor Schilling. Got to go. Sorry. <laughs> I remember you were watching that. That was that movie too. I thought it was mix up. Now I'm all turned around. Yeah. Um, but every time I see you on screen, I freak out. But now this is a headlining, a headlining um, comedy special, one hour comedy special. Yeah, it's wild. Um, and just so people are- The sun aren't, I never had. The sun I never had. Just so people aren't confused, it is not the material I'm on tour with now. So I'm shooting that special in yeah. three weeks in Atlanta. You get double the money worth. You yeah, get, you get, <laughs> yeah, you get double the money. So you can watch this one if you didn't make it out to the first tour and then, you know, come see me. And we don't change life. our show at all. We do it verbatim. We, we, I walked into a jersey <laughs> How's it doing in Chicago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just reading off the script. Yeah. Do you know that I have to do that all the time? Right before I walk out, I'm like, Chicago, so Chicago, yes. Chicago. Yeah, like, yeah. I have to repeat it to myself. And right before I'm like, good night, Delaware. Like, I have no idea where <laughs> I am. Where did you film your special? Um, I shot it actually at the Lexington Opera House in Lexington, Kentucky. Kentucky. Yeah, and people are always like, how do you pick where you're going to shoot it? How do you it? pick? It's an interview. Why did you Radio City? Well, because also Radio City- You don't have as much control over that. You got, there's a lot but of it's also a that. really huge theater. So you need two nights. And so oh, also, so I just did Radio City. You have two nights for your special. You, you got to wear the same thing both nights, obviously. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You always shoot over two shows. So that way, if God, something goes wrong, you have continuity. Like if somebody- Write that down. Yeah. In case yeah. if we're, if we're going to special. Yeah. yeah. The cops are looking for material. But I wanted to shoot the first one in a theater that was like under 3,000 because I like that intimate feeling. So I think that, I mean, that looks- that's why we do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's why we do comedy clubs. That's like us at, at, a, us at Helium and Philly. Yeah. I yeah. really <laughs> did not mean to say it like that, but yeah. there is a big difference. In theaters, you're either in 6,000, you're either in Radio City, yeah. or you're in something that's like 1,200 seats. It's a very different feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm shooting it at the Fox Theater in Atlanta, which is, I think, like, I don't know, 4,600 seats. So and a so, hometown gal. A hometown gal. Yes. Yeah. Georgia, Georgia, uh, Georgia Comedy. What's your lady? favorite yeah. audience to play to? Um, what do you mean? Like, uh, like that, like what's like a, your favorite part of the country? Like who like gives the best laughs? Who's the I'll, best I'll audience? I'll tell you, this generally? is really yeah. random, but shout out to Cincinnati. What? Every I heard time that. I play Cincinnati, it is the most fun show I, I have. It's my, one of my favorite cities to perform in. What's the rest of the city is kind of a dump. Cincinnati, but, Ohio? Yeah, yeah, Ohio. KFC's going there today. I yeah. Think. KFC Radio. It, well, if they're playing it, I think the Taft Theater's there. They'll love it. It's I know, I've used Cincinnati as, as a punchline for years. As a thing like, yeah. you know, like well, then I ended up in Cincinnati. Yeah. To yeah. Wrong turn in Albuquerque. Like I've been saying, but I never know where Cincinnati is. It's how, what are the men like in Cincinnati? Ooh. Uh, the, they're Bengal tiger fans, right? right? Is, that, is yeah. that corn fed? Bengals. Yeah. Bengals. 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 I said Bengals. Is it corn fed? <laughs> corn, no, I don't think they're corn fed. They're uh, they're a beer town. They're a blue collar town. The yeah. men a are very- A steel town. A steel working town. steel working town. Yeah, they're Midwest. Midwest- sh- Midwest thick. I think I would. I, that's my. That's my type. Cincinnati has a really good food scene, and Ooh. like I was the last time I was there, I was in a Walgreens, and this woman was smoking a, a joint in the Walgreens. In the Walgreens, inside, lighting a blunt, and she's just like, <laughs> "You want some weed?" And I was like, "I was getting like dry shampoo." In the I'm Walgreens. Like, in the Walgreens, and I'm like, "I love Cincinnati." You took a drag of it? No, fuck no. A hit. no. Sorry, a hit. no. I did not take a hit of this random. <laughs> a puff. That shit was laced. We already know that, so I did not. Um, but no, Cincinnati is a really great time. I love Nashville. They're always a great audience. Nashville's fun. Nashville's 
Nashville is so fun. But it's also like, like you know, Chicago's a great city. New York's great because they know how to like go and see shows. Do you, you do know? meet and greets still? Um, I do, but I don't do it like everybody else. How do you do it? I do like a, a talk back, like a Q&A. So they sit in the audience. Oh, and they like, leave earlier. Oh, everyone, they come before or after the show? No, no, no. I always do after the show. You never do. do okay, let me tell you something oh, right God. now. We always do before because no, I'm no. always too drunk at the end. No, uh, well, if, okay. But I stopped drinking now, but. I would not do it before, but it, mine's different. Y'all are doing Tell a live well, show. You're, you're obviously making millions She's of dollars. She's trying to. <laughs> I, I can't do before because then you break the fourth wall and then the entire time during the show, they think that they're best friends. And then I found that they would always just like talk to me while I'm doing fucking stand up. Oh. And I'd be like, hey, Michelle, we'll chit chat in a minute. <laughs> so I do it after the show because then it's like my performance is done. Now we can sit and gossip about whatever the hell you want to talk about. That's exciting. And I used no. to do it before the show and I would be so, so, you know, you you want to entertain people too and give them hugs and talk to them yeah, and yeah. chit chat. And then I'd be drained for the show. I'd be like, now I got to get up and do a two hour show. Should you we know? do that That's, different? You're like, eh, I'm going to stick to, um, the, I mean, I'm, we'll see. Are we'll you see. taking photos with people? Yes. Are you just standing and taking no, photos? photos yeah. yeah. Okay. So mine's different. I quit doing that and I'll tell you why. It was honestly because people would, they'd take a 10 second photo yeah. and then they'd run back in line. They'd want to be the last one again. And I was like, this is disingenuous. Like I'd rather yeah. sit us all in a little kiki, crisscross applesauce, ask me anything you want. Talk to me about like- Are you on stage when you're doing it? Yeah, I'm on stage. And you know, maybe it's like 40 people in the audience and it's just- And they say after. Yeah, it's way more after, intimate. After school. After school. They say after school. It's a an night, after school <gasps> program. You call it nightcap. Nightcap. Ooh. I love that. Branding. Stop having a nightcap with that. Mm -hmm. Um what are the things? That, so our our fans, they bring. I'm a, I'm weedqueen.com. I can't drink. I got high triglycerides. I got I got a bad. <laughs> I hear you. A bad yeah. lipid panel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I so now I've been told. So my I know I didn't fast beforehand. I literally had a deep dish pizza like twelve hours before I was supposed <laughs> oh, to do then it. Then that's why your blood but, uh, work I know, came back. But it's I know, but it's still crazy high. It shouldn't be over sixty. Mine's five eighty. 580? 580. It's a medical miracle he's sitting here right now yeah. speaking. That happened to me with a thyroid, uh, well, a sugars test, basically. I do like the full <laughs> panel. <laughs> sugar. And my doctor called me at the end of 2021. My dermatologist called me. Your dermatologist? She did. No, she uh, hit him on speaker. She goes, she goes, she goes can I, can I, are you alone? She goes, she goes take wanna, me off speaker. And this has nothing up. to do with you. Like, I was this going, is that I have AIDS. I was just going through your blood <laughs> panel. So, yeah, to have it. Um, my blood, my one. blood panel. And she goes, did your doctor call you about your trigger? I says, yes, I know. I got a cardiologist appointment on Friday. But yeah, it's, it was that bad. So it's 580. It's horrible. My sugars were like, they're supposed to be like between five and 10. And I had like, I was in the fifties and yeah. she was like, we need to figure this Real shit out because this is bad. I love that. My sugars. My sugars. Yeah. <laughs> so drinking juice. Sugars. I'll be so drinking my juice. C was through the roof. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've been doing a weed queen. So I've been drinking yeah. so much, but, um, it feels good not to drink. So I get weed gummies now. So, so, yeah. so fans have been bringing us lots of the gifts. So we get weed gummies. Lots of weed gummies. I didn't gummies. bring you anything. I'm so sorry. No, not you. Not you. <laughs> oh, okay. But I didn't. I should have uh, brought you got, something. Uh, the bracelets are really big. What are fans are? What are fans bringing you every day? These 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 hussies are coming out to the show. Can I tell you? I do get the weed gummies. You leave gummies. the bag of I know you leave the bags I, of shit. You leave bags them of shit. I love it. Keys. I uh, these girls. Okay, two things. One. When I first went out on tour, I was like, I people were like, what do you like back charcuterie stage? boards? Charcuterie boards. So people were making me. F they were starting businesses. Women no. were starting businesses, and they were like, you know, Emily's cheese plates. Yeah. You know, Caroline's cheese plates. With stickers on them. Everywhere. And they get you to take a picture with the thing. Yes, and I was like, we're starting like this cheese plate revolution. But now they're very creative. They will whittle me wood. Like I'll get a fucking, Ooh. you know, a, a, a sculpture. Like it's really oh wild how talented they are and good with their hands. Oh wow, yeah. we got some. We got Our some charm bracelets. Bring us drugs. <laughs> drugs, 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 drugs. Every time it's drugs, it's yeah. edibles, it's pill, it's mystery pills from their bra. It's like I yeah. literally, the pill. they're literally giving loose pills. I found like two in my jeans pocket. Yeah, those um, are... wine. Um, we got some. We got some wilted signs. Some, some yeah, man mafia wooden wall signs. Sign. Woodworking is very big in the community. Really big in the community. <laughs> yeah. Really. Someone asked me to be a wooden bowl this week. They asked to sell, send me a new wooden bowl for my new apartment. Wooden bowl. Wooden bowl. They're will, they're whittling will, wooden bowls what do you now. Like wo wooden anal beads or something. That would be nice. Ooh, Fun. Get a splinter, splinter, oh yeah. Living on the edge. The cedar might keep things fresh down there. That's very true. That's true. Fresh, yeah, and, very and, true. And, and prevent um, moths from coming out. <laughs> <laughs> the cobwebs down here, mama. The moss only grows on the north side of the tree. We um, know that. What did we talk about in the special? Talk about your, your late dad? I mean, I talk about my dad dying. <laughs> womp, womp. But it's How old were you? Eight? Uh, no. No, you were old. You were I was 26. College. Yeah, it was just, this happened eight years ago. 
What year was it? Uh, 2015. Mine was 14. Mm. It was my idea to have a dead parent. Yeah, always, always. <laughs> he <laughs> he won up too. It's fine. I'll start following your lead. You follow mine. Um, I talk about infertility. I talk about egg freezing. Are we trying? Well, I, I did it, and I say this in the special, I did it to be proactive because I was like, oh, I'm a working woman. I'm running a shempire. Yeah. I yeah. got to get these eggs out. Yeah. And then I went in and they were like, bitch, you have no eggs. Yeah. And I was like, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> um, so then they had to juice me The nest me is empty, mama. Yeah, I, it was literal tumbleweeds. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So then I I was on testosterone for like two months. I was doing oh. vaginal suppositories. Like I was juiced Same. up. So I, you know, I have a joke in the, the special. I'm like, I'm, I was transitioning and didn't even mean to. Yeah. I was just trying to get some eggs. So, um, you know, That's I- That's why we can both identify as, as transitioning because I, I, my, you should see my, uh, you should see my estrogen levels. They're low. They're, they're high. My no, you're t- high. T is low. I'm, thir- I'm literally a 13 year old girl. On the inside. Yeah, I, the I'm so estrogen dominant. It's not even funny. You when I so got much. mine, they were literally like, we need to put you on TV. You're because passing on to, to your, I'm to your husband. I'm double woman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> double woman. You catch I know your next special, double, double woman. woman. Yeah. Well, it's Lucky, a vaginal yeah. suppository. What are you putting up there? Um, so it's a mixture of like progesterone, testosterone, and estrogen. So when you're trying to get why your eggs they, to Why grow. don't they just add a load in there anyway, just in case? Well, because at the moment, you know, because it, it could, yeah, no, I it hear can't you. hurt. I hear you, but at the moment, yeah. I wasn't trying to get pregnant. Mm. I was trying to preserve oh, the eggs. eggs. We were making embryos, oh. uh huh. But also, I mean, they could That's put like a load you up. Make, you make um, ketamine at home when you pour the liquid into the Pyrex dish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna make my own K tonight. It's similar, <laughs> similar. <laughs> yeah, they just juice you up. So I, I um, had a vaginal suppository explode, and the Delta Sky Club at the Atlanta Ooh. Airport. That's in the special. Well, like literally, my pussy popped and it exploded. Well, well you, you know, you can, well, you can it's only have. You can a little pill. It's like a Tide Pod. You can only yeah. have th- it's six, like a Tide Pod. You can only have six more explosions in the Delta Sky Lounge before they take your privileges away. Let's talk about it. <laughs> talk know. about it. Say it. Nice. Yeah. Talk about it. Talk about it. What did okay. Brian Kelly say about it? Because I so just texted th- him about it. This is the rest. Of the, uh, the what's it called? Resurrection? Not like resurrection. The um, the downfall. Insurrection. Insurrection. <laughs> insur- Delta this, insurrection. This is our very own January six. <laughs> the Delta, Delta Sky Club. <laughs> they're trying to silence us. Yeah. And they're trying to monitor the us. Point, the yeah. points guy said they're going to walk it. He's confident that they're going to walk it back. They and they're like VP of marketing is <laughs> like all these people are trying to make these changes. Mm-hmm. And I think it'll go back to normal. But you bet you're, you had one explosion. You bet a Delta Sky loyalist. Google Delta loyalist. Sky Club, uh, um, Alex Platinum card drama. And all in one word, and you'll see all the drama. We'll catch up on what's happening. Yeah. Don't do that. Google Brian uh, Kelly on our show. He'll explain yeah. it even better. I yeah. think they're going to backtrack too. And I mean, yeah. listen, I am at the hub. <laughs> I am at the heart of Delta Airlines. You got am- you you had to, you got to go to the training camp and go down the slide. I did. I got to. Well, you know why they did it because I applied to be a Delta flight attendant years ago. Right after my dad died, I had moved back to Atlanta, and I was like, and they said we're not this this. They uh, said huge liability. This emotional fucking <laughs> bitching coming on. Thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, I didn't pass a drug test for Adderall. They were like, she's too zippy on the. Floor. Yeah. Um, so then when later on, it was funny because this is how full circle life is. They ended up sponsoring my first tour oh my and I was able to give out like silver medallion and gold medallion status at shows, which was so, so fun. So you flew first class for free the whole time? Um, not the whole time, but yeah, uh, predominantly. And so the flight attendants were like, please come down and do flight attendant school with us because I talk about how I didn't get the job. And that's the only job I've really like never gotten, yeah. you know, because I'm a real catch. And um, it was uh-huh. absolutely so much fun. But yeah, oh I'm upset God. about it too. I'm just as upset, but I will still t- be Delta loyal, and I'll tell you why. Because the other options fucking suck. They're the worst. First of all, I had, I had, you know sometimes I have to fly American for like so I get a direct I've flight. I've never done it. I've only done United. There's no T. Te- well, on United, there's no TVs. Yeah. American, there's no TVs. There's no there's no middle there, class. There's either. no middle class. <laughs> it's just no. low class. A and fat high girl class. can't even get an extra leg room seat if she wanted. No, and I'll be honest with you, the first class does not feel like first class. You no. know what I mean? It feels like the bottom of the unless Titanic. you're in the Polaris and then yeah. you're laying down yes. and you're going cross country. But a regular flight, like I go, you go, you know, we go to the South a lot. We go to Boston a lot. We go to you know the regionals. South Jersey, let's clear you know, that yeah. up. All those places, and they don't have like you have, you have to get a, a pole jumper. Yeah, yeah. it's I, I Delta is worth it. He said that Bill. I'm putting over. That's where he was sitting. He said Brian Kelly of the Points guy said airlines don't give a fuck about you and they don't care about your loyalty. They it's all a scam. That's why he'll. I know we're Delta loyal and I'll stay like that. Mm-hmm. But he says you know he'll hop around. But like, I've never seen her on a jet blue flight. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, doing the leg room, the foot room test, and, and a fucking. I've seen his face on the side of the plane. Oh, yeah, I've never seen Cincinnati. him in a seat. The best thing is when this first rolled out, though. One of my best friends, shout out to Megan. She's just a power lesbian from Mississippi. <gasps> oh, she called lucky. me and like I spend so much money on Delta. By February, yeah. I'm diamond. That's how much I travel and tour. Oh my God. So Ooh. literally, Megan calls me the day she didn't even say hi, hello. She goes, Heather, they're thinning out the herd. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, they are, Megan. She's like, I'll see you in the Sky Club, bitch, and like. 
hung up the phone uh, and that was it. You can still come. You're, you're going to be fine. I'm going to be fine. I spend the money. Yeah. yeah. And you can't even pay to get in. Like They won't even let you pay to get in. But I don't know. I have no idea because I know you can buy memberships to the Sky Club. So I'm like, all right, well, if at that point, if it's even $1,200 for the membership. year, just buy it and they write it off. They rolled that back. So it was, you used to have, I think, two or three guest passes. Now it's like you have none. Well, I agree. It's mm. too much. It's, it's too much. It's too much. Has, yeah. Something has to be done. But even if you've been to a Centurion Lounge at like, you know, it's that's big. That's the Amex? Th- yeah, that's yeah. the yeah. Amex. It is literally like people yeah. show up with 65 relatives. Yeah. And kids. Enough. We're done. Yeah, We're yeah. done. Yeah. I agree. It had to be done. I just want to know if there's an option to throw money at the problem. I don't care <laughs> about exclusivity. I mean, I'm all about, you know, like keeping the poor poor. But it's yeah. like, <laughs> I want to make sure I'm allowed to throw money at the problem and get in there. We want to go ahead and say, extend the gap. I'm about to do the private suites. And I mean, once in a while, you do want to, a little a couple riffraff through there because when you have a layover, um, then they have those showers in JFK. You want to bring it, be able to get in there with, like, you know, a, a weldsman from showers. Cincinnati. Yeah, absolutely. And just do a reach around and live your life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You want yeah. a little riffraff in there. They yeah. can be all card holders. What's yeah. the um, What's the showers at JFK? You oh, can shower? Yes. Yeah, Any Sky international Club. Re- uh, Sky Club has showers. Oh, I knew that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm you just have to totally ask, you kidding. You have to but ask the front desk for a towel, though. You do also have to usually book it beforehand. Book it beforehand, yeah. You've done that? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, there's nothing worse than when you get off like a 14 hour flight. I slept you... in a mother's milking room overnight in Germany <laughs> once. <laughs> Not kidding, because you were able to pay for it, and I, I didn't want to pay for the lay down. They were all booked up, so I, yeah. s- I laid down in the mother's milking room. Now, now you were lactating at the time. I was lactating no one anyway, questioned though. it. Yeah. yeah, they saw you from the back, and they're like, yeah, the, she's, the, "She's a she's... large German woman with a beard." <laughs> they go, that's lactating. A, it's just that's a homely Tuesday. woman. That's a mama bear. We're not going to get in front of her. Yeah, yeah. She'll pounce. Out and About is sponsored by BetterHelp. Do you ever feel like your brain is constantly getting in its own way? Like you know what you should do, what's good for you, but you just can't do it? Yes. Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of working against yourself. Yeah, and now more than ever, I'm going through so much drama in my life. The moving stressing me out. The weight gain stressing me out. The triglycerides are stressing me out. I have not been in my right headspace for many moons now. Um, but thank God I have Jessica that I talk to every week. And what's mm-hmm. great about Better Help is I don't have to go see her in person. And Nana's got a red wig on. Talk about and it. A, and a, uh, an 80s style slouch sock. Uh-huh. Um, I can't be seen in public just like this. So that's why I can go online and I can do it over the phone. I could do it over the video chat. I can do it through messaging if I want to. I never have to see anyone if I don't want to. And it's so much cheaper than in-person therapy. All I did was fill out a brief questionnaire online. I was matched with a therapist. And it's so much more affordable than in-person therapy. And I need a specialist. I need an LGBTQ specialist that deals with people that had um, eating disorders in the past. Uh-huh. And I happened to find a specialist in my area because – um, I didn't need to find a specialist in my area because they're not in my area. Um, and I got to have for better help because everything's online. You don't have to worry about if they're in your area or not. So if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Like Joey said, it's entirely online. Guys, it's convenient, it's flexible, and it'll fit your schedule. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash out and about today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash out and about to get 10% off your first month. Betterhelp.com slash out and about for 10% off your first month. BetterHelp. Oh, dude. Oh, yeah. Um, did you buy anything off my registry? <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Okay, awesome. No, he's too. not getting married. What, he's what's, not... Yeah, but what's left? Is I'm, there good stuff left? Well, there's there's a couple <laughs> things good left. My, my espresso <laughs> machine is, is I'll left. I'll put it down to you. I could do that because I, which one is this? The Breville? It's the Breville. I got Wait, you. which is I got you. the machine? Send me the link. I got you. Okay, thank you. Joey, yeah, those don't are, can ask I, guests to buy you this. I'm not. She was my friend. They're fucking expensive. I know. But you know what? I believe in paying it forward, and you've always oh. been good to me. I'll get you. I'll get you your fucking Breville. Oh my! And then never fucking give me Ask a bad review ever. <laughs> no, if, you, if I if I got invited to the Italian wedding, you would have been you would have been gifted with baccarats and oh. and um, you know Campari. Can Campari I tell bathtubs. you? My husband was so flabbergasted. Then and I did did I do it? No, I didn't do a registry because I was like I'm asking people to get it. Give enough shit. He was thought it was insane. He's like, I can't believe that people actually do this. I'm like, well, it's a real Southern thing to like, but I'm like, I don't need yeah. crock pots and pans. Right. I already got that shit. No, no, no. You don't need a toaster. You don't need yeah, a toaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's no. like, you just give cash. Well, at the wedding. So that's all I do at anybody's did wedding. You and, did, did you and your husband sit, or your husband, I'll say, did he, um, after the wedding, did he sit on the bed in his underwear with the cards? Opening them all up and counting it? Um, or no. too drunk? No, can I be honest with you? you I don't even cards? I don't even think we got a lot of cards. We also said though, we had a very expensive wedding. The location was expensive. That was enough money for We we did travel. not ask for gifts. Now we had people like Brian Kelly sent the most beautiful bottle of like t- 2002 Dom Perignon. It was, it was we the were the on our honeymoon. Us. It was the three of you. <laughs> it was actually it was the three. Yeah. Of, no, that's the question though. If someone travels 
to a, if someone goes to a destination wedding, is their presence the present or should they give something? That's what I think. Yes. I think the Emily Post rule is you are not expected to give a gift and I did not expect to get gifts. And then the people who sent them to me, I like them more than the other people at my wedding, <laughs> yeah. but I did not expect it. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. A destination wedding. It was in Capri. No, it wasn't. No, it was in- The uh, Foothills. T Tuscany. The Foothills oh, of Tuscany. But the night of my wedding, we didn't get home till like five o'clock in the morning and Jeff did expect sex. And I gave did it to he? him. Yes, and I was like, I, why? And he's like, eh. I'm like, we've been together 13 years, Jeff. You get fucked whenever you want. Like, come on. You go, come to mama. Yeah, yeah. Come on, let's he consummate. Did. He it was I bad say luck. that you may be at fault for my my triglyceride downfall. Why? Because you said a quote a couple months ago, <laughs> oh, and God. I have been living life via that quote. Okay, what is the quote? The, I don't know the quote exactly, but I took it to heart, and I and I every week I did it for months. Okay. I treated myself to a Barolo and a ribeye. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, that was me. That I was is drinking my fault. red wine and fucking steak twice a week for like three months. Like, and that was like was my fucking job. And I said, you know, what well, Heather's doing it. She's thriving. Maybe I could throw osmosis. So I was, I was taking down T bones. I had, a I bone had a and I was yeah. sucking on a fat cap. Yeah, I, I, you know, and that will catch up is, to you. Is the most like. It's the, it's the only one. And then I had a flank steak. Can I tell you, today Ugh. I've been up since six doing interviews and shit. Ugh. This is so refreshing. I would love a beverage. Yeah. I would love an alcoholic beverage. Yeah, we can get an Anything awesome. you got. Yeah. You want an Amitas? Yeah, let's get an Amitas. Do you like tequila? You I love, love tequila. tequila. Yeah. Don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, no stress. I'm just saying like- Go get a, go get a something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, hearing fine. Barolo, that's like, then yeah, yeah. that's uh, nice. Where are you staying? At the Conran. I was just going to say that. I'll tell you, here's my thing. If you're in New York, the Conrad- It's a Hilton property. The, it's a Hilton property, and I'm usually a Marriott Bonvoy gal. Ooh. But the Conrad used to be condos. So whenever I do Today Show or anything uptown, I stay there because the rooms are enormous. That was, that they is, you that's Paris Hilton's father's no. name, Conrad, right? Uh, no, yes. that's the, and, the, the and one, of the son, one of the sons, One of the sons' names is Conrad. He's hot. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes, so I say, because it's literally like a regular room is like a two bedroom suite. They're huge. Really? Yeah, and it's really I nice. I don't know how to get good deals on hotel rooms. Uh, what, do you, what do you do? I mean, my publicist can call and like, I get like a media rate, but I usually love to stay at the Bowery. That's my spot. But oh, you know, yeah, Gemma's downstairs. Yeah, it's the best. But if yeah. you're, I mean, if you just get like a regular room, if they're sold out, sold out of suites, you're literally in something no larger than this couch, mm. you know? So I, I like to stay in a, in a big space. How was your Hamptons house this summer? Last time we saw you had just finished up and you're yeah. like, you I need a Ray month. No, to, they, yeah. we did the Hamptons wrong. We did it did, wrong. We got a surf lodge. We did, went to Surf Lodge. I saw Alex Earl and Zandra and all oh. that. Oh. Yeah. I, I said you were trying to reach out to them. Did I, they ever get back to you? Yeah, they did. I met the girls. They were so sweet, so fantastic. Mm. Um, you know, I'm just trying to be a wiser, older aunt to some of these young gals. <laughs> yes. Not that they even need my, I just want them to be like, you're making money. Well, you paved the way to yes. pop so they can pop their pussies. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Thank Preach. you. Face down, ass up. I have been popping my pussy <laughs> since 87. Since, since, since Bust Down Tatiana was since on. Bust and you were still on the Hamptons. Still my favorite song. Alex Earl, I know. Mm -hmm. No, we did the Hamptons wrong. We got a cool house, but I was like, it, everything's very spread out. Like, yeah. you gotta too be, much. it's too much. It's yes. going from East Hampton to West Hampton to, to the Montauk. The Montauk. There's no cell phone service. Oh, no Nobody service anywhere. Nobody warned me about that. Oh yeah, they can't the build worst. a fucking cell no, phone boring. tower to, on the, with all these people, with all these rich people out there. They can't put up a five G cell phone tower yeah, in the middle of the fucking of thing. They want to be off the grid, they said, but I still think they, they don't want the, uh, the IRS finding them. I guess so. Yeah, no, we went out a couple. We went out a couple times. We had fun. We went to the Surf Lodge. What else did we do? But can I say something? Yeah, the Surf Lodge. I don't even yeah. care if I get like banned. No, like what the please. fuck? Well, I mean, what is it? What is it? Right? It's just to be seen. It's, it's, a, it's yes. a, at the corner. Yeah, it's a pee in an outhouse. You got a pee in an outhouse. And my husband, that day that we went, he wasn't feeling he was so chafing. hot. Yeah, he, yeah. <laughs> he was like, I'm not going to drive. I'll just valet the car. He, or sorry, he said, I'm not going to drink. I'll just, you know, I'll drive or whatever. And we get there and they're like, no, you got to park like a mile down the road. He's like, fuck what? this. Yeah. He's like, we're on the list. You should have at least a ballet. Yeah. Like, this is stupid. What are we doing? And then when we were there, y'all, this is the difference. Did you have a table and a bracelet? Um, we got the bracelet. We okay, did not good. do a table. Okay. But let me tell you something. This is the difference in the generation. And I'm not shitting on the younger generation. So I love a, a when I have a cocktail. I sometimes love a cig. I oh, my, my vacation we met. cig. The day we met, we had yeah. a sig together. Love it. Yeah. In a downtown neighborhood. So I'm having a vacation sig, and I turn over, and my with my buddy Ray, who was here last time, I'm literally like, does anybody have a light? And this girl goes, how are you going to light that? And I said, <laughs> what do you mean? And I said, does anybody have matches? And Ray's like, I'll find matches. And she was like, I don't get it. And I was like, I'm making fire. Yeah. I realized all these, <laughs> like, what? I'm making fire. I'm making fire. Because all these kids just plug the shit in. They don't even know how to like. They're vaping. They're oh vaping. yeah, they asked where the charger was probably. They asked where the charger was. And I said, I'm going to strike a match, start a fire, and light my sugar red. And they were like, mind blown. <laughs> Uh, oh and that's when God. I said it's time to go. Let I literally said, fire. wrap it up. <laughs> this is I, a sulfur. Yeah. I actually did uh, see matches yesterday for the first time in a long time. 
Um, and I was I was taken back too. I'm such a youngster. What did you do? Matches? Yeah, I let me cigarette with matches at the after party. I didn't know you were smoking at the after party. I had one cigarette. My friend Jamie, my friend Jamie came from from home. Oh, she's great. I had one I love her. cigarette. That's I have so one like funny. once a year. That yeah, is like yeah. my when I, I go to Europe, them. I have a long career. I don't need them either. That's the one thing. Sometimes you won't. I was able one. to shake. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's a lot of vices I can't shake. Drinking's getting easier right now because I have because I have the weed gum. I always need a backup plan. As no smoking, I got the vape. No yeah. drinking, I got the weed gummies. No black dick, I got. <laughs> Philippine Heather Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> I, got I, got, I got the Chinese. Um, I would love to be the. Uh, I love that. That I. You can't get any big black dick, but you're yeah. like you got me. Yeah, you got you. <laughs> it's the same thing basically. <laughs> well, yeah. I, I, I was. Like, I had my inspiration from you at all times. Like I was drinking my Barolo and steaks. We're gonna do a little game of obsessions with you right yes. now. I'm Let's gonna find out what you're eating, what you're doing, what are you watching besides your special on Netflix or on or on the streaming platform. Actually, stay with Netflix because you, you, yes. you legally have to. I think. Um, legally have to. Oh well, the Beckham documentary, obviously. I was uh, just with him the other day. I just Fair fragrance launch. Oh, well, how was it? He was. It was. I mean, it was. It was great. It was with Teresi. Yeah. Uh, the I'm food. going there tonight. Are you? Yes. Is it so great? <laughs> oh, it's fucking it's phenomenal. I'm excited. Get yeah. all the pastas. Oh, we're doing it all. Get the uh, get the um the fucking fried olives. Oh my god. Uh, Stuff oh. with sausage. Done. You're gonna fucking die. I used to wait on David and Victoria Beckham when I worked at SoulCycle in LA, and they were so lovely. But I'm like, I. It's really funny to see the documentary now. I'm like, I know everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But their kids are the nicest, most well-behaved children ever. Yes. And I'm like, that. Brooklyn I honestly, Beckham. it's a great family unit. Yep. They are a really loving family. And I remember we dealt with the hugest stars. I mean, Beyonce, Oprah, everybody. And I remember being like, they're class acts. They yeah, really yeah. are. Isn't that so Good. refreshing to see when someone like you see in the public eye and you meet them in person and just the nicest people ever? Yeah. yeah. That's what they say about us. That's mm -hmm. what I met Sherry Shepard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I met Sherry Shepard. <laughs> I love Sherry Shepard. Did you Sherry fight Shepherd. with Sherry Shepard? No, no, I like Sherry oh, Shepard. Like, I love like Sherry Shepard. Oh, I love her. I've never met yeah. her, but I'm sure she's lovely. I miss yeah. Wendy Williams, though. I gotta be honest. I do, I do. I do. too. What really is going miss. on? Do it's we, not, no it's one knows. It's like no one just, knows. it's the addiction. It's all that stuff, it's right? It's a lot. I, yeah. Oh, uh, she was, Ooh. when she was on, I mean, Wendy doing? Williams' TikTok right now. <laughs> how you, how you doing? doing? Kevin Clancy has a video of him in the audience going, how do? How you doing? Stop. I've been to the Wendy Williams show many, many times because I was, you know, celebrity makeup artist for many moons. That's right. So I was there every week doing the random hose. Um, I miss when Winnie Williams would talk about like food. She'd be like, ooh, this weekend I got butter popcorn. Yeah. And then her mouth would start watering and she would just kind of do this and like <laughs> suck on her nails. She'd be like, yeah. ooh, and then I put some Crystal's hot sauce on it. Ooh. ooh, and then a little cinnamon dust. And you're like, this sounds disgusting. <laughs> there but she's Wendy. There's Wendy. Kevin Clancy. Look at him. Wendy. How you doing? <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> That's Stop. KFC. That's KFC. <laughs> Who is he with? That's KFC. That's his ex wife. Is that Candace Owens? I love Candace Owens. <laughs> I'm so sorry to, it's, and to the haters. I just got involved with her. What are you talking about? I follow about? all her stuff. She has. She says. She says it like a T I is. <laughs> Jesus he, Christ. He, he sent that to us too, and nobody responded. No one responded. To In our group nobody chat, responded. Is she no one responded. He's is like, I love Candace Owens. Yo, I just didn't know if it was taboo. a bit or not. So I was like, I, I'm no, I do. I like her. She, I like. She's she's spunky. I, like I have noticed. Say. I have she's seen all the spunky. clips online, and I'm like, she really she's doesn't give a fuck. Now. She doesn't give a fuck. I like how she yeah. says what she thinks. Doesn't give a fuck. Speaking of that, I want to talk about sessions. Anything you do, I like to do the same way because I think. You're my idol. Oh my God, what are we I obsessing about? You. You're watching the show, the Beckham documentary. That's how we got there. I'm watching the Beckham documentary. I'm also watching Catching Up to the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, which is, mm. to me, one of the best franchises. Um, what else am I doing? Agree. Here's the thing. I, I, I know this is going to be... Uh, you're gonna prompt me with something because Shame. I am I'm working so much now. I don't have a second a time. to fucking you know like jerk off. Yeah, when so she travels am, and in, Scott, in the Delta, she has to close her eyes. She yeah, can enjoy the amenities. What's, yeah. what's the yeah. onboard amenities? Uh, favorite household product, but I guess that doesn't really apply to you. Favorite household product. Mm. Like you like what you like? My, you like I like staying in rooms. I like what what I find oh, this week. I'll tell you what I love. I shout out Dawn to Dawn Power Wash. Uh, Dawn Power Wash. Dawn, there's a new flip top one where you squeeze it from the yes. top and it stays. Yes. Um, and it sits and upright. It sits upright. upright. I'm in do all the shark stuff. I do have Dyson products. Yes, but bitch. I got, I got a, I just treated myself. I went I to got, Costco. I, I, I was at a, a house with them, Shark Ninja. Oh, the best. The best, everything. You uh, have the shark vacuum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I great. got a shark vacuum for every floor at the house. The, and literally, the, the stick ones? I got, yes, the, the cordless ones. I got, yes. The, I got everything. I got like 10 <laughs> shark vacuums at Costco. I blacked out and I was like, this is the greatest day of my life. Shark has the best. I got mm -hmm. a, a, Shark Ninja sent me an outdoor smoker. Oh, I have an outdoor <laughs> pizza, pizza oven smoker. I got Ooh. that on um, the shark blow dryer with the um, the, the wrap. I got that one too. It is so good. I got a new attachment on my desk for the flyaways. Did you get that yet? Yeah, I haven't gotten that. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll let you borrow it. Okay, great. The shark blow dryers <laughs> are doing it. The ninja, um, the ninja, the. the the Soda Stream Ninja. The Soda Stream Ninja. Also, the Ninja the
It's called Creamy, yeah. <laughs> it is on this show. I like that. I like what about that. restaurants? And you're in New York. Um, yes. Oh, so we're going to Teresi, Teresi tonight. tonight. Now, that is, don't you know Teresi is, it is by Mario Carbone. It is the real exclusive Carbone. Carbone is like, you know, it's been there. Everyone's been there, done. Yeah. This is the real hard res to get into. And it's much more exploratory. It's much more like um, real. Like, you know, people are squeamish around. You see rabbit on a menu and, and Carbone, yeah. no one's going to order the rabbit. And yeah. Teresi, you, you get the rabbit ragu. Great. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning into the rabbit. That's, yeah. that's my vibe. I'll tell you what. I went to Polo Bar for the first time last night. Ooh. I've never I've, been. I've always seen on Instagram. Did you have the many, how many hot dogs? Um, I had the little pigs in a blanket. I had the burger. But it is so funny when you go there. Yeah. First of all, I had to have my friend who's a much bigger celebrity, her former assistant, call to get me the reservation. Who was your friend? Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, my oh. God. So I think that they thought <laughs> that she was coming. coming. <laughs> and then they were like so cunty. Hi, how y'all yeah. doing? Yeah, they were so disappointed. <laughs> um, and then when you're there, everybody is kind of- You had to sit behind, uh, behind, a, sh behind a wall so no one can see when you. When I tell you, I had- <laughs> the seat right next to the hostess stand. They were like, come on. And then on top of it, it was really funny because it's like everyone there is cosplaying as Ralph Lauren models. And I'm not talking about, it makes sense that like the people who work at Polo Bar wear Ralph the Lauren. Costumes. Everybody who's a regular who's coming in was decked out in head to toe Ralph Lauren. With like sweaters on the shoulders. Yes. And like Ralph neck. Lauren vintage stuff. And I'm like, I, I wore a sweater dress. Just yeah. fucking. I didn't know that I was supposed to be dressed to she the had a, She had a show me your moo sweater dress on from last season. Good call. Did yes, you? I did. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, I always wear tell. Your you can always tell. Well, this is yeah. one of the, one of the original pieces. <laughs> now, can I tell you? I love that you're wearing the Carhartt because oh. I noticed this in Italy. Like everywhere in oh. Europe right now, Carhartt they have stores everywhere. Are I'm you like a European fashion. You're I literally a fashion. Got, I, got this free. I got this duty free. Yeah. Yeah. Tel Aviv. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's top. That's a top. I can't do that. Yeah. I got this duty free. You can go to Tel Aviv. I mean, you've been there. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. You can say that you've been there. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, great. I don't know. I what the about on fire. what about obsession? for beauty pocket. I got, new, I got my obsession. It's in my pocket. Tell me. Yes. What's your obsession? It's not here anymore. It is my <laughs> the new Chanel Scratch lip that. balm. <laughs> Chanel launched a new lip balm. It's Ooh. $45, but ladies, this color, it's called um, uh, politely, politely Pink or Flirtatious Pink or something. Okay. It is the nude that you want. It's so creamy. What about uh, beauty product for you? I am right now in the skincare line. Bi Ooh. I can't pronounce it. Biologique Rechi. Biologique Rechi. Rechonk. Oh, Ram a lemon ding dong. I don't know. But I went, okay, shout out to Karen at Sea of Beauty down in Soho. I got the best facial in my life, and I've been seeing her for years, but I hadn't seen her in a minute. Yeah, Biolique Vercherie. Je crie que c'est sûr, cher. Vinny spells it perfect. Vinny spells it nailed that. It's a bookmarked tab. Let me see the font and the picture. Go see Karen. It will be the best facial of your life. Where is it? What city? It's here in New York. Oh, it's in Soho, right? Yes, it's in Soho. But go see, it's at Sea of Beauty, but she only has these products. And I started oh, using wow. it. My, my skin is incredible. That's the brand? That's the brand. I've never seen it. Yeah, it's French. Oh my God. Well, and she told me, so Karen, I believe, is Chinese. She's Ooh. of Asian descent. And she, I said, Karen, what do you think about the Korean skincare? And she's like, not for you. She said, it's better on Asian skin because we have different textures. Imagine, because it's better on a yeah. skin. Yeah, person. I'm Italian. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She hate crimes us in the, in the chair. <laughs> no, she tells me I'm thin. When, she, when, okay. when I'm in there, she's always like, nice. you're looking good. Um, no, but that's, she says, oh, we need to be, if you're European, you need to be using European products because it's made for European skin. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. She probably has stem cells at her house. Oh, yeah. I hope. I hope. <laughs> From like Macron. I oh hope so. Oh, my God. What's something that works so well that it basically is magic? I don't even know. Air conditioning, noise canceling Ooh. headphones, meeting free Fridays. What about selling with Shopify? I love that. So Shopify is a global commerce platform that helps you sell on every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage to the first real life store stage, all the way to the did we just hit a million dollars stage, Shopify is there to help you grow. Whether you're selling scenting soaps like Nana, That's right. or outdoor outfits like Caroline Banowitz, shopping helps you sell everywhere from their all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, and Nana has experience with that, mm -hmm. wherever and whatever you're selling, Shopify has you covered. Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout rate, 36%. That's better average compared to other leading commerce platforms. I'm gonna say that again, a 36% best converting checkout rate, and you can sell more with less thanks to Shopify's magic, your uh, AI-powered uh, all-star. We're using AI to help us sell on Shopify. That's right. I've been selling Shopify since I had door hangers. It's just a great site. It's so easy to use. You feel like a web developer. It's so much fun, and it's so um, lucrative. Um, so sign up for $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash out and about. All lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash out and about. Now grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash out and about.
What about snack? What are we snacking on? What am I snacking on? I'm going to Trader Joe's days. after this. Maybe at Trader oh, Joe's. Well, everything at Trader Joe's is phenomenal. Um, what else have I been getting there recently? Let me think. Hold on. No, I'm getting I'm getting the, the, the shawarma chicken thighs tonight. <laughs> oh, those are fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love all their tzatziki stuff. I love yes. all the dips. Yeah. Oh, get the have you ever had the caramelized onion dip from Trader Joe's? It no. is the best caramelized onion dip you will ever have in oh your life. Oh my god. I I'll buy get it that. Caramelized onion. Do they have, yeah. have triglycerides in that? It does have a lot of trade. It's just mayonnaise. Okay. Like the first thing is mayonnaise. Get that. Um, I obviously always get the truffle chips. I get all Ooh. of the cheese. Do you like halloumi cheese? Have you ever had that? That's the grilling cheese. The grilling cheese. Uh, Phenomenal. Get, get the halloumi. I'm going to wait till after my cardiologist. You were on your <laughs> you show. You were on the show. I, I, I couldn't stick with it because I was getting nervous. I was having anxiety when you were picking your sandwich of what the top five sandwiches were. What did you decide was the top one? Is it the, is it the BLT that you said? Was your okay, so here's the deal. I got so much fucking heat for this. Yeah, people are very particular with the sandwiches. But here was the deal. I was just like spitballing. I was going through. I was like, no, that one moves. No, that's. It wasn't like she I was her, her, making um, a national. Matt Rushmore of sandwiches. Ah. What's your sandwich? What's your number, number one, number number one, one sandwich? A turkey sandwich. Loaded up with everything, just simple basic a turkey, turkey club. Sandwich. You can't fuck up a turkey See, sandwich. See, people got mad at me about the turkey club. They're like, a BLT is not number one. I said, but they're like, a club is. But I said, a club is just a BLT with, with turkey. turkey. Exactly. Yes. I, I just want a regular old turkey and sandwich. Fours. Yeah. What's yours? I don't know because you were saying that. What was what was some of the top ones I could I grilled said, cheese was grilled one. Grilled cheese, BLT. Oh. Um, I said an Italian sub. So, so, you, said, you also said which I thought was out of pocket. What the, <laughs> the, the, the croissant with uh, brie and. What was, what was no, it? I said a chicken salad sandwich. Chicken salad sandwich with the grapes. Oh, well, now I want to redo mine. I'm thinking, I, like, I'm not even thinking Tuna about sandwich. all the sandwiches. Chicken salad sandwich, cheese steak. No, <laughs> cheese steak. Okay. Hot dog. Let's no. Let's uh -uh. go back. Let's go back. Okay. That's not a sandwich. A cheese, a Philly cheese steak. A hot. I'm, that's like a hot sandwich. That's different. Like that's a, a meal. Parm. Yes. A chicken parm is a meal. different. What about it's a meatball a meal. sub? I love a meatball sub, but that if it, I, to me, if it's hot, like people are like, why don't you say a panini? I'm like, that's like, oh, I guess it's like a Thanksgiving sandwich. sandwich is not. That is the most repulsive thing. A Thanksgiving the gobbler? sandwich. The gobbler? <laughs> the gobbler's disgusting. Why am I putting mushy shit together? Mashed potatoes, <laughs> cranberry, cranberry sauce. Uh, so it's wet and moist and mushy. Oh, there's but no crunch. No. It tastes inside. so good, no. though. No. You gotta toast that bread if, if you're gonna do it. Oh, of course. Why would you not just make a plate? Why would you not make a next day <laughs> leftover plate and then you toast? Some nice rolls, dinner rolls. The same no reason you want it all wrapped shot. up in one. No, you that's want disgusting. You're an one. animal, and I don't trust you. Because nothing in crunch you can add to it. I think a BLT is up there. BLT is good. A good BLT from like a diner with the steak fry will change your life. I want a sandwich. Nice I do too. I'm nice starving. And perfectly toasted bread, just the right amount of crunch, Ooh. the right amount of crumbs fall off it onto the plate. I like a bon mi too. Oh, uh, you know, let's, I love let's, a bon mi. But I asked for I, uh, the pate, the pate grosses me out because I know there's veins. I in don't. It. I don't do it with the pate. <laughs> yeah. 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 Goose liver pate. I'm sorry, did you say bidet? Pate, pate, pate. <laughs> and what was our other our, our obsession? Our other, what, what did we do? We did thing to watch, thing to eat, household product. What's our third, what last one we did? You did show, product, restaurant, beauty product, Is snack. Oh. Person? Person you're obsessed with right now? Who am I obsessed with? Well, I'm always obsessed with Mary Cosby from The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City because she's unhinged <laughs> and literally. She went off about she... 2003 um, yeah. Dom Perignon. Aren't you not supposed to drink Dom Perignon or when, after 10 years? Or 2003 was a good year. Oh, uh, no, that was a good year. Okay, got it. That's what Brian Kelly sent me to my hotel <laughs> yeah. in, in a month. Oh, 2003? 2003. He sent me the right, he knew, he knew. He sent us an invitation to the to the Points Guy Awards where we hung out one time, yes. too. Yeah. We sat at the same table. I'm so sad I can't go. We can't go either. We're going to be in Philadelphia at the Helium Comedy Club November 6th. Tickets still available. Oh, my God. Well, get your tickets. <laughs> I, I I would be there. I would literally be there. I'm I shooting know. my special a day later. I'm like, I can't. You know, when I come to, I didn't come to Radio City because um, I was traveling. I was traveling. So you're going to be at the Philly? Philly. Yes. Helium. Why don't you come down? I'll get you tickets. Whatever. Come down to, to the, Atlanta. To the... I, there's gonna be so many hot gay guys in the audience. Uh, where are you? Are you gonna be at Atlanta? Your show on November yes. 6th? Yes. No, I'm in, uh, November. I'm shooting 9th and the 10th, but I'm doing oh, for we'll Should we come go? Down. Come. I would love to go. That's the thing. I'm, I get very territorial. It's like I know that you're friends with everyone. All your fans <laughs> think they're really your friends, but I am really your friend. No, we are friends. In my living room. Um, but like, I want to. I'm gonna get jealous if you're like you're. If I can't come backstage and hang out with you. No, you can. So then come to the Friday show because you have to also have to realize I'm shooting. So mom's She's gonna be working. in work mode. I'm not drinking. I'm doing the thing. But then after we, She's get, already putting boundaries up for us. I'm already putting boundaries. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to warn you. Can we smoke a real working. cigarette in an alleyway afterward? We will have the biggest after party. Oh, oh I can't wait. Sing. Yeah, you'll, I will have meat. sandwiches. I will have. Uh, a moose bouche. I got you. Well, have pigs in a blanket. Um, but Friday night. I'll be night, the pig in the blanket by the end of the night. <laughs> that's right. That's it's right. So, it's Wrapped so up crying on my thing about my dad. Do you drink dad. after the first night? 
Or are you um, just the second because you have to do the whole thing again? I will have a glass of wine in my room or whatever yeah. when I'm like, but it's a full production. Right. Also, like, I'm the executive producing this. Like, there's a lot of money on the line. We're shooting in front of over two nights, almost 10,000 people. for Netflix? Uh, well, we don't know where it's going. We, we, we don't got, know where it's going. But still on the market. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hit, me up, hit me up, Disney. Hit us yeah. up, Hulu. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I would love it. I would love a Disney check. Like I'm, that, you know, people are like, what's on your vision board next? Now you have a special. I'm like, I would love to be like the next. I, I can't be mine. Is long, my nesting balls from my registry. You nesting balls. balls. I'm doing the espresso. Quick are you really greedy? Do I, I'm doing it. Send me the link. I'll get you. <laughs> and the thing is, like, five hundred. We're gonna get bucks. like talked to after this. And Jeff's gonna yell at me. He's already gonna be like, "Okay, who, what are you gonna send you five hundred dollars? I'm gonna send you a wedding gift. I'll get you. I'll get you something special. Can I tell you It'll my Vinny? Vinny, Vinny shows up. It's like, where's the gift? Like, well, yeah. Look away, Jeff. My <laughs> financial mean? advisor said that I am doing well in the sense that I don't spend a ton of money, like obviously yeah. for work and everything. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, Heather, you don't. It's not like I went out and like bought six cards and did all this shit. So I can afford to get you your special. Boots, are those boots from an Italian designer? Franco Sarto. Oh. These are from Nordstrom Rack. Okay. Oh. Franco Sarto. Franco she's, Sarto. From she's, she's, in Italy. She's the humble queen. Are we getting yelled at? They look at? great. I don't think we're getting You're yelled fine. at. I'm yeah. good. I'm, uh, I, 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 I have nothing until I got to go back up and do um and oh, rechange glam to do Let's watch Let's talk Life. about um, T Swift and Ka do. Travis Kelsey. I love it. What are you thinking? Mm. Scott, right. First of all, I think I know the answer to this. We're with we're with uh, Jason Kelsey. They're more of, yeah. more of our type. So yes. can I tell you? Years ago, I literally was like had the biggest crush on Jason Kelsey. I'm like he's yes. so handsome, right? He's my lumber sexual. He's yeah. our yes. type. He could take a licking and keep on ticking. Let me tell <laughs> you, throw what. that thing down yeah. on Jason Kelsey. And my husband always tries to pick me up during sex. Like he's all like I, you know. And I'm like but Jeff, the, you have a bad back. I have a bad back. <laughs> he, he flipped a disc. Next <laughs> thing you know, next thing you know, he's bent over at the chiropractor. Yeah. yeah. And I said I'm never gonna. I never want to end up on that show. Sex sent me to the ER. Yes. You know I don't want them, want them to be like comedian Heather McMahon and her husband Jeff Daniels. Both yeah. blew out their backs while blowing out their yeah. backs. You know, <laughs> I don't need cheese that. board was was perish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they're hot. I say good for them. I think good for Taylor having a bigger guy who can fucking throw her around. Yeah, yes. treat her like a lady. And also, you can even read from their body language. Even if this was set up from the Illuminati or not, the way he's like holding her hand, he's gonna protect her. These other guys she was dating, yeah, no. they're like little, like Twinkie, yeah. like whatever. emotional. Get the every, fuck every, out of here. I think it's yeah. the first guy that's like like a man's man. Not because yes. he's just a football player, but he's also. Has is that kind of like protect your energy. Everyone else was like about like writing poems and wearing scarves. Like yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal was wearing a scarf. He's down to earth. Tom Hiddleston yeah. was like, well, I don't know if she was dating. She was probably dating all those weird Matt Healy, soft, soft guys. Yeah, those soft, those yeah. twinky little and no calluses. No calluses. We want a guy who can who can throw weights around. She's from Pennsylvania. That, that's the blue collar town. Can I ask you because you guys are very like strong guys? Oh, what do you look for <laughs> when you're looking for uh, when you like to date somebody? Like I need uh. somebody who can tell me to sit down and shut the fuck up. I, that's hot to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joey's I looking for someone who just finished second period algebra. <laughs> well, my boyfriend's 24. <laughs> so you're a creep. Okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, no, I, no, I like someone that tells me that can like, can like, um, like see through all my bullshit and call me out on my bullshit. Yeah. 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 Cause that would humble me and be like, just Joey, be nice to this lady. Be nice. <laughs> just, you know. She didn't mean to take the cart at Whole yeah, Foods. She, it was an it's accident. It's not her fault. She can't find the vein in your fat arm. <laughs> Can Shit, I tell you, then that's why we would make a good couple because that's the way I am to Jeff. Jeff's like that hot New Yorker who always yeah, thinks relax. somebody's out to get him. And I'm like, sweetie. It she's, was an inside job. Yeah, but yeah. That, that woman <laughs> is blind. That's me. I think everyone is always just like, there's an emotive for everything. Yeah. And I'm the I'm so the opposite way where I do get taken advantage of all the time. I'm like, it's fine. Jeff's like, yeah. they're robbing you blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that, I think, um, it's good for her to have someone can throw her around. I don't know if he's gonna be the one. I don't know if there'll ever be a one. I, I she's, she may be the new um, Victor, not what's her name, J Lo. She might be the new J Lo. You don't need to get that married. wedding ring. J Lo like got married, so who cares? Yeah. You think it's not gonna? I last? got married in Italy. Yeah, yeah. Heather McMahon got married in Italy. Yeah, I think when you're that successful and that famous, it's like why even complicate things with a marriage? You have a good thing going. He's got money. You've got money. You're happy. Do your own yeah, thing. Yeah, you don't need the house. You don't need his approval. You don't need his his mother-in-law bitching up your. Because when you get married, then there's automatically an expectation, like internally mm -hmm. or externally. I'm married. Should I be having kids? Should I slow down? Should I do this? But if you're not, then you don't have that like 
Can I, can I tell you when these women will DM me who are like new fans so they haven't followed along and they haven't watched my special on Netflix that oh, I never yeah. had where I talk about my fertility stuff they'll be like a baby would look good on you and I'm like Ugh. you don't think I'm getting loads busted in me every fucking yeah. Tuesday Pam <laughs> yeah like calm down <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hear it I got a vaginal suppository in right now I've, I'm over here <laughs> juicing up on the tea trying to you know get the womb woke like just let me live I have a cryo mini fridge on my <laughs> nightstand that I, the, my husband comes in every every <laughs> Minutes. I got a Tide Pod in my pussy. Shoots, I have literally a Tide Pod in my pussy. into this freezer twice a month. You don't think? You know what's funny too when you're doing IVF, and this will be so foreign to y'all, but you know they have to do uh, uh, blood work like every. Our trans 40- friends are doing it. A, yeah. a, a trans couple, Gigi Gorgeous, who okay. is a trans woman, and um, Nat Getty, who is a trans man, are having a, a baby. They're married. They're having a baby the old-fashioned way. Oh, fantastic. Yes, I yeah. think it's going to be such a such We're very interesting excited experience for, for them. It's going to be good. I'm excited for them too. They're, they're doing IVF excited. though. They're doing IVF. Well, it's funny because when you're there, you have to get blood work done like every 48 hours. So you're, and you're in mistaken and out of this as trans all the time. I'm, everyone thinks I'm trans <laughs> yes. all the time. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> well, I mean, with this voice, come on. <laughs> um, and literally, like, these guys will walk in with their little, like, you know, samples of semen and they kind of walk in sheepishly into, like, the fertility you clinic. You know what's in the box. A flushed face yeah. and hair all fucked yeah. up. And every woman in there is juiced up on some sort of drug. And, and they're, they're horny. like, we don't give a fuck, Mark. Put the dr- put the semen down and get out of here. You're the reason why we're here in the first place. Clawing at them to get yeah. the load. Yeah. So it's oh every 48 God. hours. That is such like a commitment to do that every 48 hours. And how yeah. long does that? We don't have to talk about. Wait, what are you doing? 48 hours. Blood work. You have to go to the doctor's office. But then how often? Does, oh how long God. does that last? Well, it's different for everybody. Usually it's yeah. like a 14 day window that you're actually injecting yourself. But because I had low eggs, I had to do like two months prep. So I had to do like a month on a certain drug, then a month you on another. Drug. Yeah. Yeah. Yada, yada, yeah. Caught it. <laughs> yeah. What did you just say? I said, now she did two months of prep, but she still caught it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yes, 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 yes. I know that is. one is due. I pause. Mm-hmm. I go, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Fire it off, Joe. Fire off the joke. But that's a lot. That's a heavy lift. Like, and especially yeah. injecting yourself has got to be like, oh, I would be fucking terrified. He I'm can do it. it. I can't now. do it. I, yeah. But an Ozempic injection is not like, I mean, the needles, yeah. uh, that's in like a little Have you even offered thing. it on the, on the black market yet? Uh, the Ozempic? Yeah. I got on Ozempic before oh, everybody did yeah. because my naturopath put me on That's it. That's what I recall it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, Enough. <laughs> yeah. But no, literally, I, I did it like in 2021 when they didn't know what it was because I got my blood work back. And they thought you were pre-diabetic. The A1C was and through the roof. And they literally thought I was pre-diabetic. That's why I got mine. Yes. And they were, and then it turns out it just like normaled me out and I got off the anxiety medicine. And You're now off do, anxiety medicine? I'm off all anxiety what? medicine. What? How yes. good is that to have? A, isn't that like the goal? Like just to be... Off of everything. Doesn't that feel good? But it's like so difficult oh, to do. I'm scared. I'm uh, scared. Well, no, it was just that when I was touring, I was like at high, high, high. Yeah, I can't and imagine. I could never bring it low. I wasn't sleeping and I had just done IVF. So I my hormones were through the roof. I was not <laughs> sleeping. And my Stressed. doctor was like, stress. I lost all my hair. This is all hair extensions. Like IVF <laughs> fucked me up. Really? So I had put on like 35 pounds. My blood sugar was through the roof. And so I got on it to get normal. And then everybody started taking it. Yeah. Like it was this miracle thing. And I was like, yes, I lost anymore. weight. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I just take. I you can't. Should, sh- I can't shake it. Just do methylated B12. That's what, what? I do. I do. What is me- it? Is that the B12 shot? Yeah, I've that heard was about a game that. changer for me. And Hold that's, on, it, that's just a vitamin shot, and it helps. It helps clear B12. your head. And yeah, that's what I do because then I did blood work, and they were like, "Oh, you're not absorbing any B12." So I was like, basically methylated B12. Methylated. But I think you have to get tested to see if you can absorb it. I love blood work. Okay, me too. Right, look I at me. love yeah. blood work. <laughs> yes, get yeah. me. I like. I love going to doctors. Yeah. I like. I like. I like concerns. I like people like <laughs> rallying around me. I like my dermatologist calling me, say you're gonna die this oh week. Oh my god! It's like I the, love the dentist. I think the dentist is oh I hate the so dentist. fun. I watch teeth cleaning videos. I am me too. so on TikTok. Obsessed. Yeah, from Dubai, you have, to, you have to go to the Middle East to look at the good ones. That's where the good shit happens. I watch now, the foot ones. Now is it because ones. they? I, I can't look at a rotten tooth or no, anything. No, it's not rotten, but it's it's the plaque. It's it's the, and they yeah, water it off. But it's like it's like. Like like cement bricks of like shit in their teeth. Black, yeah, yeah. And they're foot off. ones where they trim the nasty. Fu- oh, I, I love it. I love I play, it. I have, to like, I have to like look and I say sometimes it's too much. I'm like, and this is really disgusting. I can't be watching this. Can I tell you my first thing that I notice on somebody? And if you're listening, just everybody go do a little floss today. Get a little pick. <gasps> oh no, when people probably... have a lot. Of, no, you don't. Neither y'all do. When people have a lot of pa- <laughs> plaque specifically built up in their teeth, you can smell that it. is a bit. You can smell it, and it's that's an a ick. basic hygiene thing. Yeah, like some people could be dressed in the nine, smell good, but I'm like, if you don't know that you have plaque. I'm constantly like, what's in my yeah, teeth? Yeah, I love picking what's things off I my love teeth. picking in my teeth. You should use yeah. the Quip water water flosser 
at out yeah. about 50 for to get oh, all your things quip. out. Quip yeah. is the best. So my husband, we almost got divorced because my husband had a quip. <laughs> he did not, he was so lazy, he didn't take the time. I thought he had a Thai lady boy in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be honest with you? If there's a Thai lady boy in the house, I'm like, yeah. honey, bring it, sister. Please. <laughs> I'm exhausted. My husband duct taped his quip <laughs> top because he had been used it so many times. I go, you know, you can get new. The floss one? No, no, the head. No, they the send you a new head. Oh, toothbrush. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He had it duct taped. I said, you're a serial killer. <laughs> I said, I will divorce you. How long have you been using this like they toothbrush head? He was like, head. six months. I'm like, that's not okay. No, I had the replacements. It's like, it's like getting a new bra. It's like the day of. It's yeah. like, or like a new girdle. A new, a new, a new, a new, a new shape, girdle. Shape garment. It's six yeah. most exciting things with the new head on the quip. What was the things called? Waist trainers? Remember? Waist, it was just a corset. Oh, The waist yeah. trainers? Now we have... Uh, Brazilian butt lifts. We don't need that. No, yeah, Brazilian. I know. Lifts. Isn't it funny how everybody did the fat transfer? Like, had these fat asses, and then like the looks not in anymore. No. Oh, but then the, when you would take the fat out, if asses. you injected it into the vein in your mm -hmm. ass, it will go right to your fucking well, you heart. Die. It's very Wasn't that the thing? Yeah. It was like that was the whole. If you had a bad BBL and they you injected have to go to it, Dr. <gasps> Cherry Dubrow. He will, yes. He'll, he'll, he'll do you right. We love now, Dr. Now my Terry doctor Dubrow. in Atlanta, I've never had work done except I just get Botox, Botox. right? Yeah. And he he said that he, he's like a reconstructive plastic surgeon. Shout out to Dr. Nelson Castillo. And he's like, it's really scary. The yes. situations that women, women would come in with these BBLs. He's like, Heather, I don't the, care how Hollywood you get, never get one of those. No. He said, that's how you die. Yes. These BBLs killing y'all. These BBLs are killing us. Because <laughs> they just um, take the needle and just go. I would like to get my neck done though, guys. I'm, oh, I'm so self-conscious about it right that, now. Yeah. I love my face. I yeah. have a flawless profile, a great one. face, but I need to get my neck done. Dude, I'm what do you sad want about to do it. your neck? Can I just need it tight. You want to tighten it up? Yeah, it's they, yes. they do it at lunchtime. They just do an injection here and here. It's it's microscopic or liposcopic, and they they just numb you and they can do it while you're awake. But it's not pull, it's lipoed out or it's like pulled back. It depends on what you need. If she doesn't do it soon. It's gonna she's gonna need a, she's gonna need a skin lift. Well, here's the thing. My my catchphrase has always been thick neck, thin thin ankles. Because yeah. I had really, you would 100 percent have a beard if you're a man. Oh, 100 yeah, percent. You, you need. To, what are you talking about? You'd have a beard. You, that's just, oh, that's to just, cover the okay. yeah, cover yeah, the yeah, neck. Yeah, yeah. And then Dr. Nelson was like, Heather, it's actually you're aging. It's now loose skin. Oh, I was like, better. what? <laughs> Facelift. And also, yeah. can I tell I'm you? I'm so excited for my facelift. I, I can't wait for a facelift. I'm gonna do it in 50. I'm gonna do like 55 if I'm still. No, alive. you gotta do it before. Early, okay. Just, I think it. you gotta do 45. I'll do it tomorrow. A little tweak, like yeah, Giselle little, just gets the tiniest little yeah, tweak a, all the time. I mean, that's how the real stars do it. That, you, gotta, like, like, that? you can use the same scar though. I don't know. I'll grow a beard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a lace. I'm gonna have to get a lace. I want to go to Turkey and get the. I want to get the hair I Think Barso would pay for me to go to Turkey to to document Should my you pitch my, a my, video my... series for the thing. The yeah. The, well, your hairline is better. I'll take your thing off. I spray it in. I have these these pizza slices, mm -hmm. but I got to I want to bring it up here, but I'm afraid I'd, if I I don't want a Teresa Judice hairline. Yeah. But I know I would go overboard because I don't know when to stop on anything, so I would lower it down. But Turkey does all of it, and that's where you yeah, want to go. They uh, you got to go to Harvest trip. Symbol. I've done extensive research. Harvest Symbol. It's Symbol. They offer me free sure. trip. I'm literally. Then take it. Yeah. I'm I've literally running this in my notes. This is before the the the, the, the uh, up law of Turkey. I thought it was a scam. I thought I was going to go there to meet a Turkish prince named Prince Desmond. Harvest Symbol. Yeah. Yeah, apparently that's, I, I literally met somebody yesterday who was like, oh yeah, I just got my hair done in Turkey, a hair of Istanbul. My husband needs it for the back of his calves because he <laughs> has two bald spots on the back of his calves. So yeah. I was like, let's go to Turkey, get some leg hair plugs. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, he all too also has like been looking into it. But the problem is you want, they have to shave your whole head. I know, that's what I mean. You, you, why you, can't you wear a hat? Well, I, I think- Why you, can't you wear you a hat you when can, you- No, you can't because it fucks up the regrowth process. Yes, Dave, our, our boss got hair plugs. I think maybe twice, but the first time he did, he couldn't wear a hat. And yeah, it, it's it's gnarly looking. Like the way they plug it it's in, gross. it's not. It's gross. It's. I'm not had a shaved head before. I just have to go. Like I mean, I, I just won't leave the house. See, I'm that's what Jeff said. Jeff's well, like, I, I won't can't leave wear a wig. Months. I can't even wear a lace front. Maybe you, you if it's gentle, you could probably like, a, a gentle lace front. A, a, loose, a you're not very gentle down. lace front. What if I get one of those um like headbands with the wig attached to the back of it, and I just like like a Hulk Hogan hat? Yeah, yeah, you could do that. I think there are options. I think we should explore the options. Hair of Istanbul. You just started wearing like loose silk scarves, like very mm. Versace. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I think that's what you should say. Early wearing. 2000s, J-Lo. I can play, a, I like can play the, a terminal yeah. illness for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Having a loose, a loose oh silk my scarf God. and a bald shaved head. Do you remember when you had the, the uh, he had I'll the- give you, my, give you a Gypsy Rose fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> Gypsy Rose, the EKG, faulty EKG, because his uh, chest hair made it staticky, and he called me from the hospital, and it was like someone had died. He goes, well, I, I go, how you doing? He goes, not well. And he just panned the phone up and he was just being wheeled through the hospital. I mean, wheeled the through the hospital. Um, it was, it was, what happened was I had the static cling for my, um, yeah, I had to use a dryer sheet and my, my, mm -hmm. and my, yeah. my, my chest hair had static in it and it tricked off the trigger 
for the EKG at the, at the walk-in clinic. They sent me over the doctors, and they really did me right over there. And I was there for hours with blood work. They didn't see any tar- distress. But they did um, shame me for drug use, and I went home with nar- uh, Narcan <laughs> and um, fentanyl testing strips. They asked me, and I'm very honest about my drug use. So they yeah. said, do you do drugs? I said, yeah. Yeah. How many? Uh, yes. yes. Yeah, no, this is you're going to judge this me is or it. do your fucking job, Carol. Yeah. <laughs> they go, this is it. This could be it. He goes, I've been doing this for years. That is not, yeah, that you're you're going to shame me into like, you know, just, yeah. just get me my blood work. I don't bitch. need the judgment. I need my heart palpitations fixed. Thank you. When um, you learn about CPR, the first thing they say is like they have a razor in a CPR kit because if you have to put the defibrillator on, you have to shave the person's chest first. I did. I can't imagine being in that situation and having like the state of mind where someone's going through cardiac arrest and you're fucking shaving their chest yeah. down. You have, it's a part of it. Yeah. Oh my God. I'd risk mm-hmm. it. Well, we're being we're being told to wrap with you now. So we want to make sure that oh, everyone okay. watches your Netflix special, hey, goes to the tour. It's Let's- out. Honestly, just keep that shit on. Open your laptops, your iPads, <laughs> on your cell phone. Keep it up. Because you yeah. know, I don't even know how I'm gonna put this it on works. every TV today. I'm gonna put it on my yes. phone, my iPad, and everything while I clean the house and make my Trader Joe's thighs. But I you can find you. um Heather May on anywhere fine comedians are found. W- which is you know, Sky Clubs eating, you know, <laughs> hard boiled eggs, <laughs> charcuterie, and white wine. Yeah. Well, it's always a pleasure. Thank you, Heather, hey, for coming. Thank you for coming. Let me come. I'm going to come now and What's later. that nail polish everyone's going to ask? Ferrari Red. Ferrari That's the only red. thing I wear. Ferrari Red. You're welcome. Talk about it. And look Talk that, about it. And look at that ring. My God. I, I, I tried to go the whole show without mentioning the ring. It is yeah. just so fucking beautiful. Thank you. H&H Jewelry in the Diamond District. You're welcome. Ooh. Shout out to Meyer. Heather McMahon, everyone. Thank Love you. Love y'all. 